Everyone's rise through WWE is different, but it all starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain, the only thing that separates you from the WWE universe in the moment that would change your life forever, your WWE debut. For some, it means stepping in front of a crowd that immediately erupts and chants your name. Guys, it's Bailey! Expectations placed upon you before you even step foot in the ring. For others, it means trying to make the best first impression to those who have no idea who you are. Some will find a clear path to the top. While others may take a few steps back before they figure out how to move forward. Because how you start doesn't always determine how you finish, who you eventually align with, or who you ultimately discover you really are. After that moment, the choices you make can send your career different directions and have the potential to change the makeup of the WWE Universe forever. But that's getting ahead of things. Everyone's rise through WWE is different. But it all starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain. What happens next is up to you. Of course, that match was an instant classic. But, Justine, which match of yours wasn't a classic? Oh, you're way too kind, Robin. To point out that very real truth. Were you nervous at all? Me? Nervous? <laughs> of course not. I had that match on lock. In fact, I was always calm, cool, and collected. From my first day in the ring to my sixth championship victory. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger, Justine. And introducing the champion from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly!
Watching my first title win again? <laughs> After you talked it up so much on your podcast this week, how can I not? Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic match. I just figured you had it memorized by now. Sure, but it's a tradition at this point. Is it my favorite aunt? Only aunt. Watch her most epic victories. And now also stress about what I have to live up to in my debut at Survivor Series tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Just that if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous, which is super hilarious. Because I know that I didn't teach my favorite niece... Only niece? ...to be nervous about getting in the ring and doing what she does best. Yeah. Especially not when she's been trained by one of the biggest legends in the business. If I'm being honest, there's really no comparison. <laughs> you really do manage to turn everything into a compliment about yourself, don't you? Of course I do. I'm a six-time women's champion. Would have been ten if my career hadn't been cut short by injury. I get it. A main eventer and Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who had the top merch sales in the 2003 fiscal year. Okay, you made your point. I should get ready for tomorrow. That's my girl.
As the mystery SmackDown competitor, shouldn't I have been shuttled in secretly or something? The whole golf cart with the black sheets get up? Don't worry about it. No one knows who you are. Yet. No one knows who you are yet. Tom! Justine! And LJ, too? It's so good to see you both. Same here, Tom. Wait, do you even still go by LJ? Man, it was always a hoot and a half having you backstage when you were a kid, dressing up in Justine's gear, being her shadow, her little Justine. But suppose you're not eight anymore, huh? It's fine. But I am trying to get known on my own here. I've heard. Good thing you're debuting tonight. The secret's pretty much out backstage. A few more hours and it'd be out to the entire WWE universe. You doing something here tonight too, Justine? Nope, just here to support my niece's big moment. Come on. Surely you'll find some way to steal the spotlight. <sighs> Molly. Justine. Wow, I I've got a... I, I, I better go check on the, uh... Yeah, I got no good reason, but I'm gonna leave now. I heard you were working backstage these days. Beat sitting at home, talking to the internet. It's called a podcast, and it's very popular. But I'm not here to resurrect old rivalries. Would you really call it a rivalry if there's a clear conclusion and undisputed winner? I was actually here to greet our newest WWE superstar. Wish her luck. She doesn't need luck. And let her know that I'll be working with her to get her ready for her Survivor Series debut this evening. Is that all right? No, that's great. I'm so excited to be here representing Team SmackDown. Great. Get settled and then let's talk. Justine? Please don't make things more difficult for me on my first day. Besides, you two were friends once. Sorry, you're right. It's just... Well, you know what she did. It might be ancient history and there's no reason for her to mess with you, but... Be careful with Molly, okay? I'm gonna go say hello to people. You all right? I'm all right. I'm ready. Yeah, you are. I love you, kid. You'll do great.
I hope you don't think we're going to be friends. I certainly won't be taking it easy on you tonight. Hello to you, too. Figured we'd go hard in the ring since you're Team Raw and I'm Team SmackDown, but, uh, excuse me? Just because we both come from famous wrestling lineage doesn't mean we have anything in common. You're right. I'm better than you, both in the ring and out. Ugh. I have a lot of respect for your aunt. You, not so much. You're only here because you're cashing in on her legacy. But do your best not to make all of us second generation superstars look bad, okay? Though it's gonna be hard tonight when you're competing against me and the rest of Team Raw. Hey, nice to finally meet the EST of WWE. What? Isn't that you? <laughs> As in new S superstar in WWE. Ready to show Team Raw what's up tonight? You know it. That's exactly what I'm here to do. Now that's the confidence I like to hear. And remember, the rest of Team SmackDown has your back. Although, ideally, we would have at least met each other to get on the same page before today. Yeah, they said they were really trying to keep my debut a secret. I get it. I mean, the WWE Universe is going to lose their minds when they realize you're related to Justine. And don't think I'm not going to fangirl out and grill you after we win. You gotta tell me exactly what she's like. Listen. I love my aunt. I even spent summers traveling with her on tour growing up. But it's important for me to make my own mark in WWE. Hopefully I can do that tonight. You know the EST is all about standing out, so I understand completely. See you out there tonight. We got this. Hi, I'm... LJ, little Justine. Yeah, I overheard. Oh, precious. Yeah, I was actually going to say I recognize you from NXT 2.0. Ava Moreno, right? You had some great matches with Cora Jade. I didn't realize you had gotten drafted to SmackDown. Guess your famous WWE legend aunt hasn't been able to get you up to speed on everything. Honestly, we've been pretty busy prepping for my debut. I'm a little out of the loop on everything else. Who's your match with tonight? I don't have a match on the show tonight. Not all of us are able to skip the line, LJ. Did I do something wrong? What's with the attitude? Let me lay it out for you. A girl named Ava works her whole life to be the best athlete she can be. Excels at some things naturally, puts in the time to get better at the rest. Gets signed to WWE, continues to grind at the Performance Center doing everything the WWE way, makes a mark on NXT 2.0, wins her matches, and gets signed to SmackDown. Sounds pretty great, right? What's your point? Some of us work hard. Some of us work harder. And some of us, LJ, get to waltz into Survivor Series and get put into a match that the rest of us, those of us who have done everything by the book, would kill for. My aunt is a legend, but I'm good at this. I got here on my own. I'm not just some nepotism signing. <laughs> got here on your own? We'll see what happens tonight. Maybe you are good, and you'll prove that. Regardless, I haven't been given the same opportunity on this brand to prove how good I am. So excuse me if I don't play nice with little Justine, the legacy hire. Hmm. 
sorry I wasn't able to check in with you sooner. It's always nuts backstage before a major show. And I lost a full 20 minutes to Happy Corbin, who wanted to practice a stand-up routine on me. Luckily, Xia Li overheard and protected me from his bad jokes. How are you doing? Feeling good about tonight? Honestly, I'm ready. I've trained my whole life for this. All right. Let's take that confidence, earned or not, and channel it into a great debut. For what it's worth, despite my history with your aunt, it really is my goal to help you succeed here. You guys have some history, huh? That's a conversation for another day. Stick around here long enough and you'll have history with everyone. Alliances, rivalries, heck, we even have our fair share of weddings. Although those rarely seem to work out. But let's talk about your debut. I've got your custom gear ready. Custom gear? What do you mean? Honestly, I get it. I wouldn't want to debut in it either. No, I mean I have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Not sure how this didn't get to you, but WWE management asked that you debut in a look that honors Justine's legacy. So they've made gear inspired by what your aunt wore when she won her first championship. Not that that specific match would be the moment I'd choose to commemorate. Justine got lucky. But I brought my own gear. I designed it myself. Besides, I'm not sure if I want to use my aunt's image to establish my own. I want to make my own mark. Listen, despite my personal feelings, it never hurts to get a rub from a WWE legend. It's also probably not wise to go against management on day one. But I know it's important to stand on your own two feet around here. Ultimately, the decision is yours. What do you want to do? I'll wear the gear. Justine trained me. I wouldn't be here without her. And I do want to honor her legacy. If it gets me a massive pop, that's just an added bonus. Great. Management will be happy that you're towing the line. Just bring the performance to complement it. Maybe dressing like your aunt will even inspire you in the ring. Better go get changed. It's go time. The wait is over for the reveal of Team SmackDown's mystery partner. The following contest is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, Ginny Miller, Liv Morgan, and Bianca Belair. Team SmackDown. Do you know who that is? The final member of Team SmackDown is none other than the niece of WWE Hall of Famer, Justine. The last legacy superstar I remember debuting at Survivor Series was The Rock. No pressure, kid. It's Team Raw ready to battle for brand supremacy. And opponents. Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, and Bayley! Team Raw! The superstars from the Red Brand are here to prove they don't need to play mind games to come out on top. Well, if you're referring to the fact that Team SmackDown has a mystery partner, I think that's just good strategy. 
This night will be etched in WWE history one way or another. It's time for what we've all been waiting for. Raw and SmackDown Survivor Series clash between six of the most talented superstars we've ever had in this match. Six. I count five seasoned WWE superstars and a green as grass rookie who looks like a deer lost in headlights. Justine's niece may not have a ton of experience, or any really, but she's got WWE in her blood, Corey. Check out her nod to her Hall of Fame Odds first championship win in her brand new gear. Lion from the top finds the mark with a leg drop. Ripley is getting beaten down here. Thick. Kick to the midsection. She certainly has the confidence of her aunt. Looks like she's setting up for the Justine Jammer. A tribute move in tribute gear. We're about to see a once in a lifetime moment. Not if Charlotte Flair has anything to say about it. You only have one chance to make a first impression, and this one might include a hurt ankle. And Rhea's taking advantage. Rip tie. Cover by Ripley. Rhea got her. With the elimination, Team Raw now has the advantage. What a letdown for the Blue Squad. She definitely didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope mishap and an apparent ankle injury played a key role in that. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. Wait a minute. Hall of Famer Justine is here. We haven't seen Justine in a WWE arena for over a decade. One thing is clear, the WWE Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight in any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track. After this debut, she certainly needs some guidance. What was that about? I like to show off as much as the next person, but that was embarrassing. Don't talk to me like that. You certainly don't always have a perfect night. I'll talk to you how I want right now. You just spoiled the match for all of us. Don't expect this to blow over with the SmackDown Women's Locker Room. The Raw women are gonna rub this loss in our faces for a long time. Did you hear that pop? What? The sound of my ankle popping or my career imploding? Oh, how is that ankle? Or more importantly, how's that ego? Ankle's okay. Ego? That's another story. Well, your gear looked great. Thanks. Sorry I couldn't do you proud. You always make me proud. Just have a better match next time. Besides, you may have made a mistake in the ring, but Charlotte still acted out of line. If I was medically cleared for in-ring action, I would put the queen in her place. Believe me, I'm mad about it. But I'm not sure that Charlotte did anything you wouldn't have done. Nah, but one of the perks of having a career-ending injury is getting to apply unrealistic standards on the next generation. Why do you think I like training you so much? Right. 
Listen, I don't want to leave if you need to talk, but I got word that WWE management wants to chat before we head out. Something about the buzz online, whatever that means. You okay? If anyone taught me how to be resilient, it's you. I'm fine. I'll talk to you later. That's my girl. I'll find you in a bit. I can't say that was the debut we were hoping for. I don't know what happened. It was like you said, I got a little inspired by Justine and I wanted to do her justice with her old finisher. So you decided to do something showy, took your eyes off what was happening and let Charlotte blindside you. I'm sorry, I won't let it happen again. I got carried away. You did. Remember, you're here because you're good, and you could be great. I wouldn't have any patience for Justine's brat, no-talent niece. But don't expect everything to come all at once. You could have gone out there and had a solid match, and that would have been enough, win or lose. But you bit off more than you could chew. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm a WWE legend. I'll do my best at damage control. At least you have some goodwill from WWE management since you decided to wear the gear. But I can't imagine they'll want you to wear it again. Not exactly the sort of performance they want to be associated with Justine's legacy. At least I'll get to wear the gear I designed next week on SmackDown. Sure, now's definitely the time to be worried about your appearance. Get your head in the game. I'll see you at SmackDown, and we'll take it from there. But what people forget is that for someone to win, someone else has to lose. It is better to win, though. Of course. Actually, speaking of winning, I have a few developments that Ruthless Digressions listeners will be thrilled to hear about. Oh. Care to share with those listeners or your co-host? Like I told my niece at Survivor Series. Patience, Robin. Patience. LJ, welcome to SmackDown. How you doing? I'm sorry that Survivor Series didn't go so well. Yeah, not the debut I was hoping for. Well, you're here now, and have your whole career ahead of you. Listen, I may just be a cameraman, so I can't help train you, but I've been with WWE long enough that I pride myself on knowing how things work around here. Happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks, Tom. I think I have the info I need. Fantastic. Good luck tonight, LJ. I'm certain I'll see you around soon. Hey! 
Welcome to SmackDown. Thanks. You know, after what Liv said at Survivor Series, I wasn't sure if I'd be getting the warmest welcome today. Oh, you won't be. But I have a different perspective than the rest of the girls. In fact, I'm actually usually pretty rude to the newbies because, well, I don't want them coming for my SmackDown Women's Championship, but I don't have to worry about you at all. But I plan on coming for that championship. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're hilarious! After your huge mistake in the Survivor Series match, I know that must have been a joke. I don't have to be rude to you at all. We can be friends. I think we're done here. So, I know I didn't exactly get the best start, but I've got my head on straight now and I'm ready to go. That's great to hear. What do you have for me tonight? Now, here's something that's less great to hear. WWE management thinks that after everything that's happened, we should take a beat before we put the spotlight back on you. Don't worry, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. But I need to redeem myself and show the WWE Universe what I can really do. I need at least a little spotlight. I think you might have to settle for no spotlight. Backstage sentiment on you is not good right now. You may be a SmackDown superstar, but you've got an uphill battle if you actually want to be on the show. So my match tonight is... Non-existent. Ah. What can I do? I don't want to just sit in catering. No one does. But this will all blow over. My advice until then? Find some way to make an impact. Be so good in the ring that they can't deny you. How am I supposed to do that if I can't get a match? I said I couldn't get you a match on SmackDown. There are other opportunities to wrestle. Actually, I can pull some strings and get you on main event. You'll need to find an opponent, though. Most of the roster is pretty busy with commitments on SmackDown, and I don't have time to play matchmaker. Pretty busy or pretty mad at me, from the sound of it. Yeah, I may have heard those rumblings. Although, have you met Ava Moreno yet? She's pretty new to SmackDown, too, and also would have something to gain with a good showing on Main Event. We've met. I'm not sure she wants to work with me. Neither of you have to work with anyone. You just have to show up and fight each other. Get her to agree to that, and I'll set up the match. If there's some sort of beef between you two, lean into it. No one said the match had to be friendly. Well, if it isn't little Justine, I would say I'm sorry how your big debut turned out, but I don't like to lie. What do you want? Let's cut to the chase. I want a match on main event. Molly said she can get me one if I find an opponent. It sounds like getting that exposure could help both of us. Are you interested? Sure. Great. That was actually easier than I thought. Oh, but let me be clear. I want a match on main event, but not one against you. I want to make an impact here in WWE and make my matches count. It doesn't help me at all to defeat some jobber. What did you just call me? If I wasn't perfectly clear at Survivor Series, I like people who've come up the right way and paid their dues. Not nieces who get handed special treatment because of what family they're a part of. And if that wasn't enough, I certainly don't like you after you proved me right and made a mess of things. 
regardless of what you think of me, I don't see how just sitting around and complaining is going to change anything. I know as well as you do that no one else in the locker room is gonna help you. You want a match with me? Prove that you have what it takes when you have to work for an opportunity. Pay some dues and stop waltzing around expecting special treatment. I don't waltz. We can agree to disagree, LJ. Hey, what's up? I was actually hoping to see you around here. You were? Yeah, I loved watching old clips of your aunt on the network when I was growing up, so it was really cool to see you come out at Survivor Series paying tribute to her. <sighs> Would have been cooler to win. What are you doing at SmackDown? NXT 2.0 doesn't take up enough of your time? Just doing some photo shoots and a little press. Honestly, it's been nice to be backstage at a show where I don't have to keep a lookout for toxic attraction. Not that I can't stand up for myself, but it's exhausting. Want some help? If you're offering, yeah. Honestly, I think they're just jealous. They may be hot and talented, but they could never do what I do. For one, they'd fall off the skateboard. You don't mind coming to NXT 2.0? Not at all. It's not like I'm spread too thin with all my matches on SmackDown. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from New York, Jenny Miller.
and her partner from Chicago, Illinois, Cora J. Gigi Dolan and JC Jane Toxic Attraction! Come on, let's go! Woo! Come on! Yeah, that's it! Yeah!
Ginny Miller and Cora J. I hear the powers that be are conspiring to keep you off of SmackDown. <laughs> they certainly are. WWE management has it out for me. I, too, have often been the victim of several conspiracies, most foul. Hang in there. Us persecuted need to stick together. Thanks, Sammy. Are you flying out for some exciting mocap action, too? I am. This is going to be awesome! Do you think they'll let us keep the funny suits? I hope so. Oh, man, I am such a big fan of your aunt. I always dreamed of getting in the ring with her. Sorry you have to settle for getting into the ring with me, I guess. Sure, but you'll be doing all her moves, so it'll be pretty close. Why would I be doing all her moves? Because you're doubling for her? Did nobody tell you? Awkward. Yeah, they want us to give them some new combinations of moves for classic superstars. Fans love playing as WWE legends. Don't worry, you're gonna make a great Justine. I don't wanna make a great Justine. I wanna make a great me. We may be related, but we are totally different wrestlers. I'm trying to establish myself as my own person, not just a copy of her. I hear you. I guess they just think there's no one in the world who's watched more Justine matches than you, so no one could do her moves as well. That's why they asked me to double my close personal friend, Trish Stratus. I get it. It's just not what I thought I was signing up for. Don't worry, it'll be fun. We'll get out there, you'll hit a couple of Justine's classic moves, and everyone gets to go home happy. You'll make believe you're Justine, and I'll pretend I'm Trish. Maybe there's a love triangle. Or I just double-crossed you and cost you a championship shot. I don't know. We can workshop our backstory on the plane. <laughs> this is going to be a long flight.
time does the My Rise crew get here? They're such an ass to deal with. Oh, did I say that out loud? My bad. <laughs> Friendly reminder to all talent and crew, please only use three squares of toilet paper. We have sensitive plumbing here. Had a session like this since the one for 2K20. Yikes. You know what? Just do whatever you want. Why am I even here? No audience, but I don't know. Pretend this is WrestleMania at the Performance Center. Come on, mix up with it. We've already got enough footage of that move. You look great. I mean, not really. No one can look good in a mocap suit, but your moves look great.
Looks like you were right about making a statement. That was a well-earned victory. No problem, Corey. I was happy to help. I'm just trying to show everyone what I'm capable of. Well, that was certainly a good start. How'd you like to give the trainers here another demonstration? What'd you have in mind? Nikita Lyons, Caden Carter, and Zaya Lee are coming to the PC for a social media shoot. But I know they'd love to get in some ring time while they're here. Sounds good. I can hang out for another day or so. I'm sure there's a decent hotel nearby. Who am I facing? That's up to you. But you won't need a hotel. They'll be here any minute. You up for another match right now? I never turn down a match. I've been trying to get ring time for a while now, so I guess this must be my lucky day. Great. Who would you like to face? I'll go up against Nikita Lyons. Sounds good. I'll let her know. See ya.
Oh, I heard you're making some waves lately. Waves in the kiddie pool, but waves nonetheless. Mm, maybe, but I didn't come to WWE to be in the kiddie pool. Didn't say that you did. Just like I didn't come to WWE to be pushed as the next big thing, only to be ultimately set aside and fired. Why did you bring up being fired? Is this supposed to be making me feel better? Sorry that way, but admittedly it took a turn. Sorry, I, I should have been more clear. I expected everything to be handed to me, but you're doing the work. Don't let up. Those waves you're making will be noticed. I respect the effort, but it's going to take a little bit more than that to get a match with me, LJ. I've got some good news for you. You've actually got a match for me this week? Actually, yes. Wow, I wasn't expecting that kind of good news. Thank you. I should clarify, it's not on SmackDown, but at a non-televised live event. Dana Brooke was supposed to have a match, but she did one too many handsprings, sprained her wrist, and can't compete this weekend. A match is a match, and if it helps me win a little favor around here to step up, count me in. Winning the match would help you gain even more favor. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from New York, Jenny Miller. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella!
I know you're having a bit of a rough start, but it's like I always say, work hard, treat people fairly, and earn respect. Speaking of, if you'd like an opportunity to get some work in, I know someone who can put you through the ringer at the PC. Ever since she had to do a WWE decathlon during her PC training, she's loved giving newbies the same treatment. That's it, it's over. It's over.
someone's been busy. I'm not just having matches for your benefit. And I don't super appreciate your social media commentary. I don't really care about the motivation. Besides, I've realized something. What's that? Having a handful of matches is not the equivalent of putting in years of work at the Performance Center. You know, that thing you have to do if you didn't grow up with a famous wrestling family? The so-called dues you've paid over the past couple of weeks are pretty insignificant. Ugh, you're backing out of facing me on main event? I didn't say that. Because I also realized I can harness how unfair this is for my own good. Even if you can't benefit from your pedigree due to your overwhelming lack of talent, there's no reason why I shouldn't. And like it or not, and I do not, having a match with you, LJ, will increase my standing in the eyes of the short-sighted, legend-obsessed WWE management. Especially when I win. <laughs> You're a rude piece of work. I never represented myself to the contrary, which is why I won't mince words now. I can't just squash you on main event. If we want people to stand up and really take notice, we're gonna have to have one banger of a match. So don't hold back. I know I won't. You're determined to make this personal, aren't you? <laughs> if it encourages you to try a little harder than you did at Survivor Series, yes. Fine. I'll ask Molly to set it up. We can settle this in the ring. That's literally all I've been asking to do. You finally ready to face me, LJ? I am. I'll ask Molly to set up the match. Can't wait to settle us in the ring. That's literally all I've been asking to do. Ruthless Universe, you know I'm not one for spoilers, but I have it on good authority that the next episode of WWE's main event is going to be Can't Miss. So don't miss it. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from New York, Jenny Miller. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight.
They don't come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. If you listen to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. Ava looks ready to make the most out of this opportunity. Welcome to main event where Justine's niece is looking to put her Survivor Series debut in the rearview mirror against up and coming superstar Ava Moreno. Well, I've seen Ava at the PC and she's as determined to make it in WWE as anyone out there. She'll be looking to make quick work of her unseasoned opponent. Come on, Corey, give Ava's opponent a chance. Rumor has it she's been hustling to get much needed ring reps, so I for one am looking forward to seeing what she can do. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. Uh-oh. Suicide dive. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Uh-oh. Double underhook. Tiger bomb. Oh, man. They do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Oh, ouch! Ava struggling to defend herself. Yeah, Ava has to pull a trick from her sleeve. Knew what was coming there. Yeah, she's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. She'll take things into the ring. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Oh, oh, oh. Gosh. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Uh-uh. No way. No oh, look out. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place Whoa. safe when you face such a risk taker. <laughs> Somebody stop this competitor. Incredible standing corkscrew move. So wow. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These soup tight spot for Ava here. DT win. Ava with a cause for concern. Oh, could this be it? Omega driver. Will that be the deciding factor? Bam! And momentum is slipping away from Moreno. Ava's cage might be a bit rattled at this point. He's rising back up on those wobbly legs. Man, this is about as cool. We're going to finish it off. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. Was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. Oh. Oh. And Ava pays for leaving the opening. Ooh. Battling ringside. And our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Goodness gracious. She's got her where she wants her. Uh-oh. Hurricane from the apron. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. Oh my god! Feds press takes him down. Holy cow! What outrageous athleticism! Up her Karana. Got uh, caught. Leg scissors, monkey flip. Uh, 
Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. What impact. Come on, you don't hit a WWE official. It was clearly an accident, Corey. But one that it looks like Ava is willing to take advantage of. Drop tumble onto the chair. A chair, a downed referee, and an opportunity. What's she going to do? Is she going to use the chair? I guess she decided to fight fair. Ouch. And Ava Moreno gets the win. It seems like she was trying to do the honorable thing, but it backfired. You'd think winning would be more important than honor, Byron. Either way, I can't imagine this second-generation superstar is very happy with the outcome. At least one person's happy here. This could be the type of win that could really generate some momentum for Ava Moreno. Well, pretty pleased with how that match went. Of course you are. You cheated. What are you talking about? The ref certainly didn't see anything. You pulled out a chair. Ava may have done that, but you of all people should know that it doesn't matter what actually happens. It only matters what others, in this case the ref, sees or think they see. <laughs> Me of all people? What does that mean? I told you I would make the WWE Universe stand up and take notice! You planned this from the start, didn't you? Maybe not this exactly, but I knew I had to use an opportunity against you to make a statement. Didn't go exactly as I planned, but lucky for me, you don't even know how to cheat right. And now, everyone's talking about the victory I claimed over little Justine! Ava's right about that. It's the most buzzworthy main event match we've seen in a while. And not just the finish. You two are really going at it. It's got so much attention that management wants a rematch. A fair one this time, I hope. Let me prove I'm better than her. Yes, because matches in WWE are always above board and no one tries any shenanigans. But to your point, the rematch will be no DQ, which means shenanigans are legal.
It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from New York, Jenny Miller. This is the kind of match the WWE Universe has been dreaming of, and that dream is about to become a reality. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. It's the hardest working woman in WWE, Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. Ava Moreno is going to pull out everything in her toolkit tonight. After fireworks in their last match, Ava Moreno and her opponent are facing off again in a no disqualification match to take care of their unfinished business. I don't know about you, Cole, but I love that Ava will do it. She's going for the cover. And a kick out. Nah, not yet. Too early. Up handle up. Uh-oh. She flips it back on her. Double wrist lock. Ooh. I think she knocked her out. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. <laughs> Ooh, slam. With authority. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. She's got a chair, and I don't think I'll be able to watch what's to come. The springboard attack fails to land. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Tossed into the corner. Oh, impressive counter. Uh-oh, wrist lock, wrist lock. Chop to the midsection all the way up, and springboard and a drop kick. Hell hath no fury like a woman with a foreign object in hand. Stuffing the chair between the top and middle rope, producing a trampling. Exclamation point. We all know what she's looking to do next. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. A jarring impact. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Off the second rope, blackout. Look at this. And momentum is slipping away from Moreno. Ava's cage might be a bit rattled at this point. Not 
the position you want to be in right now. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Oh, this is nasty. Somebody's got to put a stop to this. Delivered into the barricade. Bad predicament right here. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Being carried around with ease. Oh, no! Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Moreno changes the direction of that one. She throws her back in. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. I guarantee that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. Setting up for something here. Whoa, falling even harder impact. Ava struggling to defend herself. Yeah, Ava has to pull a trick from her sleeve. Oh, boy, to the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah, going to clean it off here. This is going to be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight, for goodness sake. Ooh, watch out. They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Oh, and she turns it around. Could be a chance for Ava to change the complexion of this match. Able to capitalize on Ava's mistake. Compromised position here. Ooh. A constant assault from her here. Yeah, this is a great flurry she's putting together. Got to find a way to get out of this. Ooh, drop right on their face. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Planning on what to do next. Oh, with authority! Put her in a position now. No, 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 no! Power bomb out of the apron! And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. And now thrown back into the ring. Right back with a reversal. Kick to the gut. Ava struggling to defend herself. Yeah, Ava has to pull a trick from her sleeve. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. Look at this. She better have a good reason for this. Tagging this outside. This could be good. Fishing for something beneath the ring. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. What impact! Right in the kisser. Oh, and that buys some time. Ouch. Ooh. Up handle. Uh oh. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Oh, what a close line. This could be big. At the least, might and force. Ava felt the foot tight spot for Ava here. Eight out. Good night. Going for it again. Eat the feet. She's got to be out of it now. Uh. 
He's able to get out of the way. A counter answered by another counter. Looking wobbly in the corner. Good night. Oh, strong impact. And momentum is slipping away from Moreno. Yeah, Ava has to pull a trick from her sleeve. Chair in hand. She is ready to do some absolute damage. Ah, uh, springboard. Oh, my gosh, what impact. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Yeah. Ah, Ray dropped it. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Ava interrupts the attack. Ava doing what she can to halter the beatdown. Could be a chance for Ava to change the complexion of this match. And the brunt of these attacks are focused above the shoulder. It's a very effective and vulnerable spot to target. And the attacks up there must be taking their toll. Her vision's got to be seeing some dark spots at this point. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. What's she waiting for? She's looking more focused on gesturing rather than winning. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from your opponent. Back into the ring. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. And momentum is slipping away from Moreno. Hey, his cage might be a bit rattled at this point. with their head. Down with the cutter. Warm up the buses. This one's over. Cementing their name after that match. Definitely earning those accolades with that win. Ava Moreno has got to figure out how to move on from tonight and come back better. It'll take more than she showed tonight if she hopes to earn a spot on the big stage. That's more like it. I think I've proven my point. I'm better. I guess you can keep up with me when I'm having a bad day. But better? You must have lost count, LJ. We're even. We both have one win and one loss. Ava's right on that point. <sighs> of course you'd be on her side. Do you really think I have it out for you somehow? Ava's right. As far as WWE is concerned, you're square. So... If you really want to settle the score, this needs to be a best out of three series. At least that's what management thinks. Fine. They'd actually like you to have the final match on SmackDown. On SmackDown? Are you serious? That's what I said, didn't I? Then I can't wait to beat her on SmackDown. Oh, calm down. Act like you go here. Just one thing. The show's already been booked and is pretty tight. I could only get you a little time. So it's officially a five minute time limit match. 
My recommendation if you want to finally settle this, someone better win quickly.